Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and we had an amazing session on Remedies of Saturn by Sanati ji and today now we are going to start on Rahu. <laughs> Most awaited. Please enlighten us sir on Rahu. We are waiting. Namaste Babi ji ji. This is very exciting for me. Um, looking forward to remedy with Rahu. I don't think anyone who has introduced to Rahu isn't at least a little interested to find out more about who Rahu is, the history or mythology of Rahu, and how or why Rahu affects us. And um, when we're looking at remedies for Rahu, just like we did for Saturn, when's the most appropriate time for the remedy of Rahu? Okay, so Rahu Dasha, Rahu Mahadasha, Rahu Antar Dasha, Ketu Mahadasha, Ketu Antar Dasha, Rahu Ketu Return, which means Rahu and Ketu are returning to the natal position of the chart, also, the Rahu K2 half return when K2 goes to Rahu's position in the natal chart. So, these are all the most significant times to apply the remedies. Um, again, we did Saturn was Saturday. Rahu is also considered Saturday, but Rahu actually gets stronger on Saturday night. If you've ever wondered, why things get a little bit crazy on Saturday night. It's because Rahu's usually the one who's the DJ at the party. And um, I actually think Rahu is strongest around one or two in the morning on Sunday morning, before the sunrise on Sunday morning. Rahu is extremely strong. So, the, so, so Saturn's strongest during the day on Saturday, but very late in the night, in the early morning on Saturday, Sunday, Rahu is very strong. So that's great time to apply this Rahu remedies. But if you're in the Rahu Dasha, you can try to do these as much as possible every day. Um, there's two color spectrums, that uh, color therapies that I like to use, and one is rust-colored clothing rust colored clothing that means brownish orange colored clothing so it can be somewhere it can be brown it can be uh orange if it has a little brown or it can be somewhere between brown and orange and the other colors is multicolored and striped clothing mm -hmm. so this is clothing with many club colors clothing with many stripes the rust color clothing kind of increases the power of Rahu. But the multicolored and striped clothing, that kind of enhances K2. So you're kind of reducing the Rahu energies. Um, we'll, next, we'll discuss mantra. I'll do gemstone last. Next, we'll discuss mantra. Now, if someone has a very weak Rahu and it's not in a happy position and it's affecting their um, uh, job and it, like it's in the sixth ha second house or the tenth house, so it's affecting their finances in a pretty difficult way, um, then you might want to experiment with the traditional Rahu mantra, especially at, or if you're a Rahu ascendant person because there's some aspect of your dharma, and Rahu can show a dharma, but there's some aspect of your dharma which is getting to know Rahu. So the best way of doing this is through the chanting, and I did the Rahu chanting years. Uh, the chant goes, Ardakayam Mahaviryam Chandradijavi Mardanam Samhita the Garba Sambutam Tam Rahu Pranamam Yaham. Uh, yeah, so now Rahu, you can feel him, I can feel him, he's here. So there's this vibration of uh, increasing the energy of Rahu through mantra, especially when you need it for specific things. Like, let's say you're a politician and you have Rahu in the 10th house, 
bust out that Rahu mantra, you know, um, because Rahu gives you what you want and it gives you what you want materially. So it might not be beneficial spiritually for the person to be performing the Rahu mantra. So let's hope that Rahu is not in a spiritual position in the chart. But if it's in a very material position in the chart, then this is an interesting remedy to perform. Now, the overarching remedy is prayers to the Deva Durga. Durga is the slayer of demons, or as Bobby G was telling me, the protector of the fortress. It represents as a guardian, like a fortress. So Rahu is considered a demon, and Durga is the slayer of the demon. So Om Durgaye Namaha, Om Durgaye Namaha, Om Durgaye Namaha, 108 times reduces the power of Rahu. So if, if, if your desires, your temptations, your impulses are getting in the way of your growth, then I don't think you should be performing the Rahu mantra. Then you should be performing the Durga mantra, Om Durga Ye Namaha and other forms of Durga sutras and, uh, and mantras and even puja. And, uh, and this will take the demon away so that you don't give in to your impulses or your addictions or the things that are adharmic that are no longer serving you. But speaking from the perspective of a Rahu ascendant, you have to go through it to really find it out. Um, so those are that's the mantra approach. And again, the Durga Ye, uh, Durga focus to kind of reduce the influence of Rahu. But if Rahu is giving you material success and you want to encourage that and you're kind of a left-handed kind of vibration, then, uh, you know, don't be shy. Now, um, as I mentioned, the herb Jutta Munsi, you take it cooked in milk or milk substitute an hour before bed. It treats Rahu, it treats Saturn, but it calms the mind. The ma Rahu can increase uh, wind in the mind and thoughts in the mind and desires in the mind and compulses and impulses in the mind. So you wanna remove those um, compulses and impulses. And so it's very important with Rahu, uh, the herb Jutta Munsi. And the thing about Rahu, it's very sensitive to what it eats. So if you have strong Rahu influence, then the tamasic quality in the food is going to affect the tamasic quality in your mind. <laughs> So with Saturn people, I like them to drink the bro bone broth. But for, the, for Rahu, not so much. It's good for them to be vegetarian. It's good for them to be sattvic diet. It's good to them to avoid excessive amounts of anything. 